this is my global guide, destination highlights, insider buzz and top tips on where to go and when to go. I'm Michelle Yonachan. First, Scotland is celebrating. From January 23rd, the Big Burns Supper takes place across the town of Dumfries, a nine-day fringe festival of music, theatre and comedy. A hundred different shows in over 50 different venues. The festival's named after Robert Burns, Scotland's celebrated bard, whose poetry continues to define this country's cultural heritage. To the mountains. From January 29th, it's the Burton European Open in Larks, Switzerland, one of Europe's coolest snowboarding events. Hundreds of amateurs get to challenge the world's top pro riders. It's six days of elite competing on a new superpipe and slope-style course on Graps on John Mountain. In spite of the snow, the theme is all things Hawaiian. Go figure. Further west, the French ski resort of Val d'Isere is hosting the Frost Gun Invitational, a big air competition, but also a music festival. There'll be freestyle skiers and snowboarders competing from February 10th through 12th, with spectators gathered at the foot of the former Olympic downhill slope, Fast de Belvard, in the heart of the village. Keep your snow boots on, because from February 2nd, Stockholm Design Week will take over the Swedish capital. The Stockholm Furniture and Light Fair happens at the same time, too. It's a big gathering of craftsmen, architects, artists, and anyone with an eye for pioneering Scandi designs. There'll be new products, new materials, new trends, and new environmental and tech solutions. Plus, must-visit art installations and special exhibitions on show. There'll be more traditional design on show in the US at the Tulsa Indian Art Festival in Oklahoma, a celebration of American Indian culture. There'll be traditional dancing and storytelling, as well as Native American art market with painters, potters and bead workers. Back in Europe, Belgium is set to burn brightly happening only once every three years. The Ghent Light Festival dazzles the city. From January 29th for four days, historical sites and monuments are lit up in ingenious ways. This year, an extended light path is planned too. Illuminations begin at 6 p.m. and last through midnight. Check out the free app with more on the route and the artists. Another city will be glowing too. Until March 1st, super illumination will take over the city of Osaka, Japan with eye-catching 3D projection mapping. The 400-year-old Osaka castle will be transformed by some spectacular imagery. The building will be split in two and also set ablaze. The light show will extend into the castle's gardens too. Finally, most visitors who come to the cobble streets of this Czech city are here for the beer. But this year there's another compelling reason to visit, when Pelzen becomes a European capital of culture. The 700-year-old city in western Bohemia will have a chance to redefine itself beyond beer as a hub of the arts. There'll be hundreds of performances from theatre to music to dance to art exhibitions, as well as Le Cirque Nouveau, bringing together some of the world's leading new circus ensembles. That's my global guide this month. Let me know what's happening in the place where you live or where you love. We're on email and across social media. Until next time, happy traveling. Love, love.